What's going on guys, it's Baron. Today we guys a video on how to create an animated glare or a GIF file for uh, Photoshop. And basically, before I start this video, this is kind of pointless unless you're adding it into a Behance folder or just putting it online. But um, basically, I'm going to show you guys an example right now and here you go. So pretty much what you want to do is pay attention to the text and you see the little glare that goes across the screen on the text. And there is 30 frames in here, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this in under 10 minutes. So basically, what I already did is created a text template for you guys, or just a text for me. Oh, I'm out of breath. I just ran up the stairs, and I was running around outside. Oh. Alright, but um, basically what I did is I created this, and I have the text. I have the glare, and I have a drop shadow, and then I have the background. So before I go on with you guys, you guys are going to want the size. So the canvas size you guys want to use is a 600 width by whatever height. And the reason for the 600 width is because Behance does not allow anything larger than that for a GIF file. So uh, I wanted to just tell you guys now you cannot go over 600. Even a 601 they won't use. It has to be 600 or below. So I'm sorry for the little pixelation. Um, it's because I'm zoomed in so far and it's such a small file. But it's going to be a little pixelated while I'm working on it. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like the final product. So basically, when you guys open Photoshop, for most of you, you guys just have this plain screen. So what you want to do is go to Window and hit Timeline, and then this isn't going to pop up. There's going to be a little screen probably right here. It's going to say Create Video Animation, and there's going to be a little arrow. What you want to do is click the arrow and hit Create Frame an Animation, and then this will pop up. You can just hit Duplicate Layer or whatever just so it creates the number one, and then click this little arrow right here. Now, after that, you want to go to 0.1 seconds, or you can just go to no delay. I'm going to hit no delay because it's a little nicer. All right, so uh, basically, now that you have that done, and then you have your little text template up, what you want to do is go to your like your layers and create a new layer and create a white square about the size of a letter. And then take it and then hit alt so it makes like a clipping mask, and then just drop it onto the template. So you have the kit here. Now you want to do is just take the opacity down and then lower it to about like 50. And then hit Control T and put it on like a 45 degree angle. So now that you have that, it looks pretty nice. So you guys can just go like this and you can see the little glare. So what you want to do is take this and put the edge all the way down to like right here past the T. And then make a new layer or duplicate, uh, what it's actually called. It's like the duplicate something. So you have two. And then you're going to take it, the glare, and put it all the way across to the top right of the E. So it goes across and up. So now that you have that, this one starts here and this one finishes here. And the cool thing about Photoshop is I actually just learned this. If you hold shift and click this one, there, so you highlight both. After you click these squares, you guys can change the tween, which is pretty much like the time between here. And it will automatically do it for you. So what you want to do is hit position, opacity, effects, and all. Keep these clicked. And for layers, hit all layers. And then tween with selection. <clears throat> and then frames to add. This is basically how many frames you want in between these of the animation. So I'm going to say around 17 is good for me. Um, it's pretty much all your preference. So after that, when you click OK, it's pretty much right here. So now if I play it for you guys, you see the glare right here. And I have mine on loop. So if you guys are not having it, only play this once. Go down here to click the looping op option and then hit forever. So now you just click it, it glares over and over again. So if you guys ever seen it, I don't think a glare keeps going over the screen really fast. So what I do is take the last layer and then hit the duplicate layer and hit like, so it goes like 30 or something. So now you have the glare and then it's a pause and the glare and then it's a pause. So it goes over and over again. All right. So now that you have that done, that's basically your glare, and then now you want to save it. So when you're saving GIFs, it actually is a hassle and is a pain in the ass. So what you want to do is go to File, and then go to Save, oh, where is it? Export, excuse me, Export, then Save for Web Legacy. And then you're going to get here. So make sure this is on GIF, so just have that hovered, and uh, this is pretty much all the same. Now that you want to go down here, make sure your width is 600 and then the quality is uh, the cubic by cubic and then your looping option is forever. So after that's good, that's pretty much all you want to have and then uh, pretty much everything else is just what you want to do. But make sure the width is 600, this is going to have to be by cubic, uh, looping options forever and that's a GIF. So after that you're going to hit save as and save it to your desktop, let's just say test 2. Alright. 
So now that you have that, it's going to pop up right here. And then if you right click and go to properties, it's going to say gif file.gif. So now you can add that to Behance. So what you want to do is go to add work. And then let's just say, actually, I'm not going to add work. Let's just say you want to add it to one of your things. So if you go to upload files and then you go to your file, so your test to GIF, and then import it, it's not the same color, but you see how it just keeps going across. Like, ready? So that actually looks really nice. So, here, I think it'll look a little better on its own. So, don't save. Flat design, edit project, upload. Alright, and then you guys can pretty much mess with that. So, uh, what I'm going to do is just take a background color and just make sure this is the same color so it looks a little better. Just to show you guys. Alright, and then I'll just go to preview. So, basically, now that you have that, you guys can see how it just kind of glares across the screen. And this actually looks really nice on like um i don't know what to call it on like behance projects and stuff and uh looks really cool when you guys have it just showing off somewhere so basically what i'm gonna do for you guys since you guys are being awesome subscribers and keep helping me out i'm gonna release this just for you guys and just uh send you the psd file and this all should come in with it uh when you open it so all you really have to do i'm pretty sure if you just change the text let's just see i'm pretty sure the text when it changes oh never mind the text does not change, but um, actually, if I just delete that, I don't think I'll have an issue with it. But yeah, so you guys can just delete that, and then you pretty much have your thing. So that's gonna be for you guys. I'm gonna release that, and uh, that's pretty much just me saying thanks for being awesome. And if you guys want more tutorials like this, please let me know. Also, how to do this drop the banner thing? You're gonna take your pen tool, your rectangle tool, excuse me, not your polygon tool, and just kind of take out the important edges and just bring them down and then you'll just have to uh what's it called have to take a hard or a soft eraser and just erase the sides but um thank you guys for watching if you guys like these tutorials uh please let me know if you guys want a portfolio review like carbon made versus behance uh, please let me know because i know some people actually get a little like intimidated by those so just let me know by that and uh i hope you guys enjoy this so just make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace out